Hey, it's Ruben in the shop, bringing you an art haul. Just got back from my trip to Albuquerque. I made a concerted effort this time to pick up art. Um, every painting I bought last time, aside from one, has sold. So I got 15 pieces here. Let's go through them. And we'll start with these back three. That's just a lithograph on the left. Um, it is limited. I don't buy lithographs. It was only $8.50 and I got 20% off. Um, it is worth about $125. There is a crack in the glass though at the very bottom. Kind of a bummer. I think it happened on my way at home. Beside it we have an oil painting. Um, it was only $12.50. No signature found yet. It might be just underneath the matting on the lower right. Uh, I just had a good look. It's probably from the 50s. It's a bit of a larger painting. Pretty clean surface. Um, yeah, that's kind of a tough one. Really easy 75 bucks, tougher 150 bucks. Right next to it is a watercolor, Audrey Gillick. Um, she is a known California artist. This is Joshua Tree National Park, uh, Hidden Valley. That's what the image is. If you can put a uh, place to a landscape painting, it changes the game as far as selling it and pricing it. Uh, it was only eight fifty minus discounts under seven bucks. Um, I'm gonna ask a lot for it. I'm gonna ask like four hundred, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, beside it is a temple. Uh, what do you call that? Not tracing, rubbing. What they do is they rub the ink on the paper uh, against the wall of the temple often in Thailand and South Asia. Pre produces this type of image, really popular in the 60s. Um, I've had one before that I sold for like 450, but it had a really cool frame on it. This one, more of a tame frame, but it is an original frame under glass, really clean. I think I get 150 to 250 pretty easily. All right, then we got these two. These were the best of the bunch. Um, these were in some guy's trunk at the flea market walking by, they asked him about some wood carvings um, and a kachina and then asked him about these here in the back of his car. Uh, he went from $100 to $50 really quick, so I jumped on it and then he threw in a kachina with it. Uh, this top one is by Hiram Namoki, who is a Hopi artist, uh, most known for his kachina dolls, but this is a painting he did quite intricate, pretty cool. Um, I've had stuff like that before. I put high dollar on it, uh, especially a known artist. Um, we're gonna go for four figures, but hopefully high three figures. Below it, not signed, possibly just under the frame, but I doubt it. Um, it is professionally framed, so I don't wanna get tearing into it, but it too is from the early 70s. Also Hopi. Maybe Hiram, maybe not, but the image is just amazing. You got the rainbow, you got the snakes on the bottom, mud head on the bottom, uh, a lot going on. So again, shooting for like 12.50 on that, and we'll see. Beside it is a painting. It just caught my eye, professionally framed. It is signed Dunn 79, I believe. Uh, more research needs to be done. Below that is this mandala. Uh, I see them out here in New Mexico um, quite often. This one caught my eye because of the middle piece is a painted wood piece and has the New Mexico flag and American flag. I'm always drawn to stuff with an American flag on it. Um, it just, it's, uh, it sells. So yeah, pick that up for 10 bucks. People ask like one, 50 for some of these vintage mandalas. This one with a painting in the middle, I'm gonna go for $250, $300. Uh, maybe that's crazy, maybe that's crazy low. Maybe we'll auction it. Uh, beside it is this oil painting. It's a painting of the adobe makers of the Rancho de Taos. So Taos, New Mexico. It's a Albuquerque artist, Doris Perry, I believe. 1980. Just really well done. I was trying to figure out what was going on with this frame. 
It looks like it's actually just the matting. The frame is missing. That's why those staples are hanging out. But just a really well accomplished painting. And it came along with this one. Uh, Lupe, Mor Lupe Morales. Unknown artist. Kind of just a cool look. Probably from the 60s. Really hoping to put a location to it. There's a piece of scotch tape on the back that has some pencil on it. But it's really faint. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure it out. Um, I got this painting, this painting, the Dunn, uh, the Rubbing, and over here, this mid-century modern painting, Mary Benedict. It's from some department store in the 60s. Uh, just home decor stuff. So I got those five paintings or five images for 130 bucks. This one was priced 10 this one wasn't priced. No, no, no. This one was priced 50. This one wasn't priced. That one was priced 80 and that was priced 100. So I put them all together, asked the guy what he can do and 130 was the number. I wanted to pay, I bought two jackets with it too. So I wanted to pay like 220 for everything. Ended up getting everything for 170. Um, beside these paintings is this one, uh, Salomon. Uh, what is her name? Gladys? Mm. Yeah, Gladys Salomon, frames by Frank, I assume is her husband. Uh, 1960s, Albuquerque artist, known artist. Um, that's an easy $250. I paid $50 for it. It's the most money I paid for any of the paintings, but it will. I'll, I know I can get $250 really quick on it. Uh, beside it is a watercolor. Don't do too much with watercolors. This one was only five bucks. Thought it was well accomplished. Gary Blunt. Haven't found him yet. But uh, took the frame off the back. And it is Jemez Pueblo. Uh, it says I keep returning here. So uh, we have a location with the New Mexico artist. So we're in good shape with that. The highest... Uh, level of things are going to be oil paintings like this one. Watercolors are kind of at the bottom of the list. I think, I don't know, pencil is below watercolor, um, gouache is above watercolor, but oil paintings are the best. Then below that, I guess, is acrylic. Um, I think this might be an acrylic or maybe oil, not sure. Uh, Robert, oh, I'm sorry, Robin Wellman, a uh, known artist. I was going back and forth. Uh, out of the flea market to just put stuff in my truck end of the day end of my day and I saw this painting just leaning against a table walked up to it just has great movement to it and uh, yeah ten dollars super cheap uh, New Mexico artist easy 300 bucks and it is Black Mesa so another painting that we can put a location to and I think this is it yeah, the final thing is this sign, um, Albuquerque Country Club, no trespassing. I don't think this is a used sign for the country club. I think it is made, and apparently, from the set of Better Call Saul, season six. So my dad checked it out. He found it in episode one, um, I think like at 1839. So... I, it's not a mass-produced thing, so that could be really good. Um, TV props from popular TV shows in the current zeitgeist. Yes, please. So that's all the stuff. Um, paid two hundred eighty dollars for all of these items. Fifteen items. I'm gonna get them listed right now. Uh, hopefully, we make a good chunk of change. I'll be bringing more videos of the haul from New Mexico. My name is Ruben. I'm having a good day. Hoping you're having a good day. Let's talk again soon.